right, people, I'm back. I've been out of action for a while because of uh, COVID. I got COVID. I've been in hospital two or three times. Had pneumonia. Different medications that's bucking muck me around. But now I seem to be on the right medication and I'm feeling a lot better. But it's taken a while, as many people are in the same boat. I mean, I suppose as we get older, we uh, start to feel the effects of these things, but still, you wake up in the morning breathing, well, it's another day. But the world's not in a very good situation at the moment, is it? Conflicts all over the place. Russia, Ukraine, Israel and uh, Palestine, Syria. Shocking. It makes you wonder what's uh, happening, you know, even in Australia here. And we seem to be going downhill fast. All the uh, cost of living, housing situation, builders going broke, companies folding up. And a lot of that has to do with uh, the COVID situation, which I believe was a planned event. And the next pandemic we have will probably be even, probably be ten times as worse. It's all part of this one world power, one world government that I've been on about for the past ten years, I suppose. Not a very good situation. But never mind, like I said, you wake up in the morning breathing. Well, it's another day, you never know what's going to happen. It could be an exciting day or it could be uh, disastrous. But hopefully it's exciting for everybody. But not too exciting if you're uh, on the bones of your backside and you're trying to pay your mortgage off like some people are. Have to go and find another job, another part-time job for the because of the rise of the interest rates. I mean, the cost of housing in this country is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And I blame that on, squarely on the government and the way the uh, superannuation was bought in. A lot of people are using these uh, private uh, superannuation funds to invest in property naturally it puts the price up. There are more people buying. Well, there was. Now some of those people are bailing out because uh, their rents they're charging aren't covering their mortgage repayments. So a lot of investors are selling. But that doesn't help the people that are trying to uh, purchase a home because the uh, deposits that you have to put up are so high and people just can't afford to, they can't save that kind of money. We go back 10 years ago, I remember the Commonwealth Bank were advertising no deposit housing loans. As long as you had the fees and charges the bank charged that give you the money to purchase a home. I remember when I built my first home here in Western Australia in Perth 30 odd years ago all I had to have was two thousand dollars land and package deal five bedroom house, 
beautiful. And my mortgage is 40 bucks a week. Now everything is 10 times the price. 10 times more. In some cases more than 10 times. Five or six hundred dollars a week just to pay your mortgage. And then you got to feed the family, run your car, pay off any other loans you've got, credit cards and whatever else. And that puts people under a lot of stress. That's why there's so much domestic violence and so much trouble in, in families. Because mum and dad are trying to uh, make ends meet, keep a roof over their kids' heads. The kids run amok because their parents are both working. And that's why we have trouble in society, especially with our young teenage population. They're either sitting on the internet all day or they're roaming the streets getting themselves in trouble. A lot of kids who can't play sport because their parents can't afford to pay for it. What I've been on in my videos over the years I've been on YouTube is about the breakdown of society, the breakdown of families. And this is all what's happening, it's all coming true. Just break you down, break you down, break you down till you've got nothing. Sad state of affairs.